What is up everyone, Atomic Toast 15 here, and today I'm bringing you yet another Fallout related unboxing. As you can see here, I have in front of me the Fallout 4 Limited Edition Crate by Loot Crate. Nice thing about this, even if you didn't have a Loot Crate subscription, you could still get this. And it was the same price regardless, which is nice for me because I don't have a Loot Crate subscription for reference. And uh, the price is $100, 106 to be exact because uh, tax is included. And it comes with approximately $150 worth of exclusive Fallout 4 goodies. I believe it contains seven items. Uh, I don't know what any of them are except for the two that were unveiled with the uh, box when it was announced. Because I haven't watched any other unboxing videos or read up or on it or anything. So I wanted to be surprised when I opened it. So hey, if this is your first time watching an unboxing video of this and you don't have any prior knowledge on it, uh, you're going to be just as surprised as I am on whatever we get here. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first, as with many a great collector's editions, we gotta cut through one of these ungodly tape circles, which that really annoys me how they had to put it right here underneath the label. So yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna remove that. I guess I should just be happy they didn't put it over top of it, because if I would have tried to remove that and it would have ripped the label, I would not have been a happy camper. But uh Alright, we're just going to cut this. Be careful not to damage the packaging any more than it already is. Alright, that's good. I'm actually going to move the crate off to the side here. Yeah. So you won't quite see the contents when it opens up, but this way I'll have ample room to uh, show them off as I move the camera over a little bit here. Alright, so what do we got first? I'm going to try not to look at the stuff as I pull it out. Alright, so first we got, this is one of the two items that were uh, unveiled with the crate when it was announced. This is a Vault 111 sweatshirt, or hoodie, whatever you wish to call it. Um, yeah. Not much to say about it, it's a Vault 111 hoodie, which is the vault from Fallout 4. It's really nice, um, from what I've seen in the pictures and just looking at it here. Got a little lightning bolt on the zipper. I guess, I'm gonna, I guess I can take it out of the bag here on camera. There we go. Not quite going to be able to show the whole thing off, I guess. But there you go, just a brief overview of it. Unzip it here, it's got a Bethesda tag. And it has 111 on the back as well. And yeah. This is real nice. I'm definitely going to be wearing this around out in public. That aside. Alright, and this is the other uh, this is the other collectible that was unveiled with the crate when it was announced. And uh, got ourselves a nice dog meat plushie, which doesn't fit all the way in the camera frame. I guess I'll just open it up here. Alright, and there we are. I'll adjust the camera to get him all the way in view. We got dog meat with some killer goggles on. They come up. Yes, they do. As I knock the camera over. There we go. Is that awesome or what? I don't know, some people might not be into this. I personally love plushies, so that's definitely going to go into my collection. Yeah. Alright, next it looks like we got some posters. Uh, personally, not a big fan of posters because I never know the best way to put them up you know, without putting holes in them with tacks or taping them up, which can damage them. I do like when they come in these cardboard rolls though, because that's a good way of preserving them. So we got a Nuka Cola advertisement. Put that off to the side. And we got a nice garage with a power armor image. Very, very nice. The same as the uh, artwork in the back of the game case. set that aside. I'm not going to bother trying to roll them up and put them back in the cardboard right now because that's a pain to do. Ok, 
Okay, next we have a Fallout 4 collector pin set. I can get my camera to focus properly here. Bethesda, yada yada. Let's open this up. Alright, we got four pins here. One for Vault 111. Red Rocket, Gasoline Diesel Fusion, which is uh, the first gas, uh, gas station to come across in the game. A Brotherhood of Steel logo. And a Vault Boy symbol. Uh, try to take these out. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Just your typical pins. Um, I don't really wear pins, so I guess I'm just going to keep these around as a collectible. Alright, next it looks like we've got a Fallout 4 coaster set. As the Fallout 4, Fallout 4. Let's see what kind of coasters we got. I had to guess Vault Boy is going to be on one of them. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we got... Ooh, these are made of rubber. Hmm. It's very nice. I've never actually gotten a rubber coaster before. Most of the ones I've gotten, especially a... Uh, let me see, I actually have one right here. Here we've got a Sonic the Hedgehog one, which uh, is made of a quirky material. I don't know why I said quirky. It's quirk. Anyway. <laughs> I don't really like this kind of design because these uh, smudge and kind of get soggy. This soggy look easily as the uh, cork absorbs more water. This one looks alright. I guess this is one I haven't used much, but anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about these awesome Fallout ones. So yeah, this rubber design is really nice. These are not going to get damaged very easily, even with regular use. All Tech Industries. Vault One Eleven. And the girl from the Nuka Cola advertisement. All right, and now we got. Okay, I think I actually saw an image of this online. Didn't know this was actually one of the items included, though. If I remember correctly, this is a Brotherhood of Steel flag. Oh, good lord, that is very big. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to open that all the way up and. Uh, Show it off on camera, but it's basically just as I drop it. It's basically just uh, this logo. Yeah, as I cover up the bottom here. It's basically just this logo as a gigantic flag. But wow, I did not realize how big this was. That's uh, that's really cool. No idea where I would actually put this up. I don't know that it would fit on any of the walls around my house or in my room. And I would not want to put something like this outside for fear of uh, weather damage, so yeah. Pretty cool collectible nonetheless. Um, yeah, sorry I can't show the whole thing off though. And last but not least, holy cow. We've got a huge Vault 111. I guess this is a messenger bag. Or a man purse if you so wish to affectionately refer to it as. Just open it up here. There we are, let's see. Oh, that's cool, it has yellow felt inside. I see the entire thing isn't just blue. To keep in line with the yellow and blue theme. Got more yellow. And a yeah, typical messenger bag design. The, uh, shoulder padding and everything. I don't know if I can get a close up here of some of the, uh, the buckles and some of the stitching and whatnot. As you can tell, it's a very, very well designed bag. It's not, doesn't look like a cheap collectible toy or anything. So this actually has some practical use. If you're a college student or you do a lot of traveling or whatever and you're not ashamed to show your geeky side, you could definitely use this and probably not get it too damaged if you're careful. Very nice. Alright, and I think that's more or less the extent of the contents of the crate. We do have a Fallout 4 limited edition crate pamphlet here. We'll see what it says. Uh, it's just a rundown of all the items inside. Collector pin set, Brotherhood of Steel flag, hoodie, collector poster set, 
Omni plush coaster set. And mustard bag. Um, so yeah. Hey, Vault Dwellers. Yeah. So there you go. I guess finally here I can get a shot of the crate itself. Move stuff aside here. Give me one moment. Alright, so just to reiterate, I've never actually had a loot crate myself, but um, I am aware that this is a tradition of theirs to decorate the inside of the crate itself to uh, reflect whatever that month's theme is or whatever the theme of the crate itself is if it's uh, one of these special limited edition ones. So as you can see here, you got a nice recreation of the uh, Nuka-Cola machines that you find in uh, Fallout 4. So I'll just get a quick little close up of the design. Got the little dory open there. And the mini fridge design. Hashtag loot crate. Yeah. Well, that's all for this relatively short unboxing. I thank you for watching. Um, my final thoughts, I think this is a great package of very high quality goods for any Fallout fan. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some use out of, definitely going to be getting a lot of use, I should say, out of a lot of this stuff, like the hoodie. Um, dog meat's definitely finding a home somewhere around here in my man cave. Definitely like those coasters. Um, yeah, well worth the price tag of $100. Unfortunately, if you didn't get the, your hands on this the first time around, you're kind of out of luck unless you're willing to pay a, an exorbitant reseller price, which I don't even want to be thinking about what those could go for, but yeah. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you all in the next video.